Hey guys, so welcome to race number 5 of the AR12 Racing Championship presented by Elgato Gaming. Myself and Super GT are doing some commentary here. This is one of my favorite races, I think, out of the entire series that we've done so far. It is a very, very close one with some really, really crazy things that happened in it. Anyways, these guys are going up for some awesome prizes like the awesome AR12 Racing jerseys. Links down below if you'd like to purchase one for yourself. And they are gonna go up for a chance in the final, which is happening in only a few weeks, for some awesome Elgato prizes, and as well, a full-on legit track day experience. It should be pretty awesome. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoy the video. All right, well, let's get this underway. We have uh, some fan favorite names as well that uh, people might recognize from uh, previous things we've done. This guy I'm on board with is Ace of Kings. Uh, he's been in numerous lobbies and and things like that. He's quite a cool guy. Yeah, plenty of guys here who will be looking to take it towards some of the big names. So we've got some F4H guys. We've got Raceboy77 in here as well. One of the quickest guys in the game. It's going to be hard actually to judge who is actually going to oh, sideways. do pretty well here. So something interesting about these cars is, I guess it was it, you, you were saying it was one of your first times jumping into this car on the circuit. Yeah, but DJ and I were saying most of the top leaderboard times actually have the traction control turned on for these things. Yeah, something I've noticed. I think a lot of the very, very, very quick cars in this game sometimes traction control on. It it helps just that little bit, that couple of attempts per lap. Um, and if it's faster, then the the best guys are gonna gonna turn it on. So we're seeing the first lap times in. Matt is currently going fast at a one twenty nine off a dig. Four. That's quick. Off of a standing start, that is very good. And imagine, I mean, I did this earlier and I was getting a 27.4. Yep. But I, I think these guys would be getting 26s. I mean, I don't know about 25, I'm not sure, but we'll see. I'm very excited for this race. These are some of my favorite cars. This is one of my favorite tracks. And oh, someone's had, a, had quite the off. There's tires all over the circuit now. It doesn't help. And I'm just on board with FYH Racers, who's actually got the quickest lap time already, 28.2. That's unbelievable. Yeah, off of a standing start. And I think the FYH guys will be looking to try and emulate uh, JSR of the previous race by going a 1-2-3. They could do it. It's definitely possible. A lot of guys running wide on that first corner. There's a lot of room there to uh, pick up quite a bit of speed and flat up. Flat out yeah. up the hill. Sometimes you have to be really careful because if you go wide that little bit, you're going to get that dirty lap. And if you get a dirty lap, it's it's not going to help you at all. I think Liam had a little bit of a problem because he put in a 204 somehow. I think he was dropping. I saw him drop back. I think he might be dropping back to try and chase a faster driver. Sometimes it could be easier to get hmm. a quick lap if you're right behind someone fast. They can kind of pull you along a little bit. This is not true. Not slipstream, but just yeah. by following them. I noticed this while uh, we were doing our laps a little bit earlier. Like we always say, we, we go in and we do a couple laps before we, we start streaming and stuff. And yeah. I was putting in like 131s before when I was just racing around by myself. And then I jumped on board with uh, with you and DJ and I banged in a 129. So yeah, I yeah. mean, if, yeah, when you have someone quick in front of you, you kind of, it's, it's a weird phenomenon. You kind of just get pulled along a little bit by them. Whoa, Turbio going and putting in one hell of a fast lap 126 the, yeah at the moment we've got an f4h one two three Whoa, all in 126s yeah. unbelievable all in 26s hayasa there um shouldn't be discounted he's a quick guy and he's had he's had wins recently in online league races so he's up in fourth at the moment which is good 129 is not too bad for just a couple of laps practice that we did um, yeah it does they th these cars are pretty t tricky to drive um, you just have to be so perfect. You can't afford any mistake, really. My problem is actually, I'm on board with Turbio right now, and my problem is that on the inside of a lot of these curbs is there's not actual, like, curbing. There's, like, almost like these little mini walls, almost, and if you hit them, it just ruins the stability of your car, and you get screwed. Oh, yeah. Um, especially around the last sector. The curbs are, yeah, they're almost like a wall. Basically, just do not touch them. Yeah. Because they will mess you up in big ways. That was my problem. It was like, I'm so used to getting inside, hitting the curb, and then going out from there. I would go yeah. in, hit the curb, in the wall. The three F4H guys there within three terms of each other. So good lap times from them, three. Hayasa once again takes 
fourth place. I'm just looking to see where Race Boy is because I was actually just looking at Race Boy. Yeah, he's a little bit down at the moment. Jess R. John is in sixth place. Yep. Evil Wolf's that's a decent lap to get fifth. But Race Boy down in ninth. Race Boy so in ninth at a one twenty eight point nine. Yeah, I just wonder if he has got a couple of dirty laps. It uh, definitely could be, but I mean, he is on his last lap now. Wow, he gets very close to those curbs. Yeah, let's uh, have a look at EVR Taylor for some reason is driven into the pits. He's just coming through the final turn. About to come across the line. Where is that going to put him? Up to second. Whoa! There we go. Oh, that's a quick time. That's the race boy we know. Yep. We know that he can do that, and he's done it on the last lap. I think his first lap, he got a clean lap, but then two dirties. So it's all the pressure was on on that oh! final lap. To... Turbio oh, goes yeah. and puts Race Boy down in the third, one twenty six point three. That's it's very yeah. That's a very good lap time from Turbio. Low twenty six, just nipping in head of races. JSR John has finished his Ace of Kings. He's a fan favorite for us. Where is he gonna be? He's also finished. That was quite good. So F four H I think is gonna be quite happy about that. First, second, and fourth place. Yep, so good performance from all three F4H guys there. Here we go. F4H represent pole position, Turbio, our man Turbio. Fan favorite in this race, I think. F4H races, fourth place at Spa. Be looking for uh, to get through this time around. Race boy as well, third place. And he'll be wanting to get through this time around. Diablo, EVR match two on two, fifth place. Good, good performance from him. And from Hayasa in sixth place. Well, did someone drop out? Seventh place. Um, seventh place. Seventh place has just disappeared. That was JSR John. And he's... I don't know what's going on there. He's just... Um, does JSR John have a Twitter? Kimmy Boss. No, oh, Kimmy in the 14th. Fin. Maybe just a very big fan of Kimmy Riken. Can't blame him. GG Racing, 17th. I'd imagine he can move forward from there. Asteroid Lake. Rounding out the grids. And let's begin the race. Fifth place. And see how these guys go. Someone's piled up off. All right, we need to restart. Oh. Uh, someone's on their side. <laughs> we need to restart. Let's get a restart in there. Are we calling a restart? Yeah, I'm that? calling a restart. Someone ended up on their side first corner. I think someone, like, stalled off the line. So, yeah, that's VBR Hayabusa. Haya something. Who stalls off the line. But they seem to get away much cleaner now. I think Taylor dropped all the way from 5th place, all the way down to ninth place, and a lot of guys running wide just trying to stay out of trouble. And they just seem watching... to be away clean. Yeah, I'm just watching Diablo in 3rd. Uh, he did initially jump Race Boy, but now Race Boy has just got ahead of him again on the long back straight now as we approach turn 4. Slipstreaming... Wow, they're close important. together. Yeah, slipstream is going to be very important. That is incredible. That and especially when these things are so fast, they're just... Oh, it is tough. Whoa, and a little bit of bumping going on. Don't want to break your engine, boys! Whoa, oh. there's a big crash. I'm not sure who caused that. I think that was one of the uh, back markers getting off the brakes a little too early, but uh, I think they seem to have recovered. Yeah, these cars are a handful. So that is bad news there for Diablo. f f Diablo getting wiped out from behind. This is always bound to happen in the in X class. It's it yeah, is so, the, the cars are so fast that there is a reason you don't see many competitive Forza racers right yeah. in X class. Diablo just jumped into the pits, which is a sensible decision. Probably quite a smart move. Yeah. Um, he'll get his pistol out of the way, get a lot of clean air, and he'll jump a couple of people in that pack who were ahead of him. I believe so. So there are going to be eight, seven people in the pits right now. That's pretty. Yeah. That's pretty crazy. Is and that Brims, race boy, or F4H race? Severe pressure. Oh, actually, Turbio has gone wide. Whoa! Now I see what you side mean. Side by side, coming into the toe corner. Do the teammates want a battle like this? I don't know. Well, we saw from JSR last week they didn't really fight each other very much, and it might be worthwhile tactic here to not fight too much. But then again. If uh, Turbio is slower, it might be worth letting races through. But we saw him on pole position. We'll have to see what he does here. Race Boy is going to be looking at that and thinking, well, it's good news for him because Turbio is not driving the best lap at the moment, which is slowing races down. And Race Boy is just sitting back here waiting for a mistake, waiting for a teammate to bump into one another. Oh, there you race. go, there's a mistake. There's the mistake. And he's very close now. 
Now, race boy here, he could be very sensible and just just stay behind races and try to pull away as a group. Let's not, let's not forget he's in the magical third position. Yep. Where as long as he finishes there, then he's in the final. This is true. Places and one through three are all weighted exactly the same, so yeah, they want to work together and be a little uh, team. That's that's totally okay. Yeah, sometimes that is the, something that happens in racing. You just form a little alliance with someone. You think, okay, look, let's work together. It's going to help both of us. So we yeah. might as well let's, uh, let's let's work. And I think that could be the case here. The race boy is going to be patient. Tier Beer running a bit wide on that corner as well, and they're just like. They're all sticking, uh, sticking with each other. EVR Wolfs and EVR Taylor, both in sixth and seventh place, respectively. They would like to move up a little bit, join their teammate in the final. Whoa, Absolutely. no traction control there. Yeah, so I think Taylor, they're running TCS off, which um, might hamper him a little bit. It's definitely possible. Someone had a quite a big crash there. It's the first I've seen of those things all over the track. And I see back on the uh, little ticker that Ace of Kings is passing a couple of people, getting some getting some places in. And F4H Racers might want to take a little look at Turbio. Oh, they're getting so close to one another. I would not do that if I was teammates. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very risky. But I mean, these are top these are top top drivers. They know they know how to race closely. And Definitely. They, they know how to push each other without pushing the limit too much. Oh, they are so close, 30 feet apart. And this is what I was saying earlier about <laughs> when you're in the same car, it's so hard to overtake because you can't outbreak them, really. This is like making me um, so nervous, it's not even funny. Yeah. <laughs> in a Master MX-5, getting that close is, is okay. Yeah, it's okay. In, in, in this, this, no. I mean, it requires Ooh. a lot of skill and precision to do that. Turbio running wide again. I think Turbio feels a little bit of pressure. Yeah. They're actually about to uh, lap a couple of guys here. Wow, they're oh, catching God, yeah. up quite so a bit. That's going to stir things up. We, we'll have to keep tabs on this. Race Boy. Yeah, actually, we've come up to four people who are going around the first couple of corners now. Oh, wow. That is going to be very, very interesting indeed. We need a blue hope, flag, blue flag. I ha I just hope that this doesn't yeah. cause anything spectacularly bad. They take a little bit of a line oh. around the outside. I think he made a bump in a little bit, but he's he did okay. Bump him. I just hope the racers didn't. Oh, oh. I hope that racers or Turbio there didn't get any damage. They did make contact. I think they're going to be okay from that. Yes, it looks like they're okay. Race Boy did close the gap. Yeah, Race Boy's down to a hundred uh, foot gap now. It might even be worth hitting so here close to, to avoid the risk of going past the back marker. I was thinking that as well. Actually, I was like, huh, what are these guys going to pit? Let me take a quick look and see what uh, their fuel situation is as well um, right here fuel and tires let's take those so their tires are currently at about 15 percent whoa the front ones are actually up to 30 percent yeah that's uh wasn't expecting that fuels around 60 percent so yeah anyone who pitted on the first lap uh i mean they, they should be fine to finish it up and oh, on a back marker pulling over there very, very yeah nice. jordan, jordan hay there doing the very sensible thing just backing right off and then the top three here go through okay. and they're actually diving into the pits teammates which is what going I suspected in. they would do this is a chance for race boy though race boy yeah jump them if he if gets a good lap now yeah the, the problem he's got is that there's a back marker ahead of him so he doesn't want to lose any time behind that back marker yep this is going to be interesting we might see an overtake here so i think pretty much everyone has jumped in the pits now apart from race boy wow okay so every single person in the pits. We'll see what type of gap he can pull. I believe Turbio should be coming out of the pits just about now. Nope, he's still in the pits, and away he goes now. Yeah, it's a very long pit lane, this one. Wow, look how close those oh, teammates are. They're actually inside each other, if that isn't too rude to say. Nope, that's that's all good. <laughs> um, Turbio is going to just about get away, though. Wow, that's, that's close. All right, we'll see the teammates work. We'll see if they can get a... A good outlap going in. We'll monitor Mr. Raceboy and see when he see, uh, decides to pit as well. See if racers can get some slipstream coming down the back straight. He's, he's within 20 feet or 25 That's feet. That's unbelievable. I think he might have lifted there. I think he lifted, yeah. yeah. He doesn't want to risk getting too close. Yeah, so these guys are going to work together. Yeah. Try to get good outlaps from each other. And Raceboy should be pitting fairly shortly. He's coming along to the pit straight right now. 
and so jumps still in. avoiding the pits. He doesn't jump in, okay, so that's very interesting. He will have to jump in at the end of lap seven. Yep, this, he, this is his final chance to go and pit. Comes out relative to the two FYH guys here. To Sessa navigate some traffic, I believe. He's probably going to catch him up. I but think it's a shame though okay. that Diablo got wiped out because I think he was the main competition for Race Boy or all the top three in general. Yeah, I, I, so, I believe so. So now fourth place is um, about a thousand feet behind. Yeah, that's Gaysar John all the way back there. How are these two teammates still doing? Are they still on each other? They're completely? still on each other, yeah. Liam T, though, um, solid fifth place at the moment. He's moved up from his grid slot of nine. Yeah, like I said, he's... he's very good at just staying out of trouble, keeping it calm, pitting at the right time. Like, he's gotten very, very good at that. A very solid, well-rounded racer is Liam T. And he's on the back of JSR John, who isn't quite emulating the success of JSR of weeks gone by, but still in a solid fourth place. Um, just looking at GG Racing up into 11th. He started 17th, so he's made up a couple of posi uh, positions there, six places. And Race Boy into the pits. So this is going to be very interesting. So he's got a 7,000-foot lead. Is that <laughs> going to be enough? It's amazing how big that gap is, but when you think of how fast these cars are, that gap will come down very quickly. Yep, already down to 5,000 feet. So I'm on board with F4H Racers, who is still stuck behind Turbio. You just can't get past him at all. I think these guys are just sort of working together, but, taking yeah. it easy. Yeah. They but understand. is that going to cause them, or cost them, first place here? It's going to get very close. And it's going to be very interesting to see exactly what Race Boy's done, because we know how good Race Boy is. Race Boy is out of his pit box, and he is coming out now. This is going to be one hell of a close exit here. I As these guys come to the first corner. It's going to be so close. I think their 4H guys might just get a run. They're just going to get a wow. run. Side by side going into the S. That is incredible. Oh, my, my voice almost broke there. <laughs> and <laughs> Welcome to the club. Race is just about getting ahead. That Race was Boy, very close. Race Boy got closer than what he was before the stop. Oh, so definitely, yeah. There's a good couple of laps from him. And Those two almost teammates just need to watch out for one another and they should be fine. They just need to close out this race. Just be very careful to the end. F4H sure Force know. 1 is uh, saying, well done, boys. It's not over yet. We all know in racing that you can't quite say that until they've crossed the line, for well, sure. Welcome to my life. Last lap, last corner. Always yeah. when things go wrong. Race Boy will be looking for that mistake or a collision, but there's just three corners remaining. It doesn't look like it's going to happen. Because He's just going to play it easy now. Go to the finish race. with these guys. Yeah, races is just... I mean, he's, he knows how to race, as, as is his name. As per the he's, name, yeah. He's been right behind Turbio the entire time without hitting him. Um, solid it is work. so scary. Yeah, I mean, that, that requires a certain level of precision. And by certain, I mean very high. <laughs> very, very high. But there you go. That is going to be win. a 1 2 3. So solid 1 2 for FYH. And race point third. Um, couple of attempts to get through to the final but he's done it race boy 77 into the final f4h jsr john liam t finishing only one second uh, away from fourth place that's pretty incredible and whoa there was a really close battle we missed uh between vbr highest hyasa hyasa yeah i believe that's how you pronounce it he was less than uh he was 0.1 seconds off of liam t yeah so one more race remaining before the final uh, VA Supercars in a week's time and uh, obviously sign up if you fancy your chances of getting through to the final where there's plenty of uh, great gear to be won. I'll see you next, next week guys. Thank you very much for letting me be part of it. Cool. Thank you dude. Cheers. Thank you. Speak soon.